So this is a weird one, not a weird one, a cool one. It's a Sonya's uh, Australian uh, greenhouse. And what's funny about this is I realized yesterday I needed to change the hemisphere <laughs> that it was in. And that's the neat thing about SketchUp is um, because um, they need their buildings to face north and not south. So when I changed it, the, the lighting, the, the sun became correct. Uh, I kept wondering why this was all dark. And I realized in SketchUp, you can go to your model info and go to geolocation and you know, manually input the geolocation, which is kind of cool. I'm going to turn that off now because it bogs me down. But when I get ready to do the sort of the rendering, I will turn it back on. But um, this is a little different too because I have to use the metric system and hopefully my mind can survive this because Every time I start to draw something, I want to put in two, you know, say two inches, <laughs> or say this this L this LVL is inch and three quarters. So I'll do one point seven five, and all of a sudden it's like, ooh, that's millimeters. <laughs> so it's a it's a. I remember years ago when I worked at an architecture firm. Excuse me, I got an apple in my tooth. Got an apple for lunch. I um I had we had to, I worked for an architecture firm. We did a data center for this firm. Uh, it's called Taco. It was actually a company in, in Paris, France, of all places. And I had to deal with the. Uh, that was the first time I had to deal with going from Imperial to Metric in CAD. And uh, so now I'm having flashbacks. But you can see here what I did was to prepare for this. I went and made myself a table uh, just so I could have a reference guide. I did some research and I went to look at products that were geared towards Australia. And if I can get this thing to center properly. And I downloaded these guides right here that talk about the you know nominal sizes or the typical sizes and the ones that are available and all that and uh, common and I took that and so what I did was so that I could mentally know that you know this that what I'm doing I, I came up with this table that says okay a two before eight feet is you know there's our sizes what are what are those metric sizes I just listed them here and I took the materials I knew I was going to be using LVLs, inch and three quarter, you know, and uh, by nine and a quarter, by 20 feet. And, but then I went and found the comparable, where's my LVLs? Down here in metric size. And it ended up being a little bit smaller, but it will work for this project. So, anyway, um, also, I had to, since we're dealing with shipping containers, I had to become familiar with the millimeters. <coughs> so this is the, this is all those people's revenge on me that whenever I tell them the imperial system is superior, because that's why we named it imperial, uh, that it was superior to the metric system, that this is your revenge on me, because now... I'm having to work <laughs> in the metric system. Now, um, what I'm wanting to do, and literally, I don't know if anybody's watching, I'm making this video basically for Sonya, okay? Uh, but I like sharing all of this stuff, wrong button. So I am sharing it with my YouTube viewers. And I'm happy to do that because a lot of times um, I get good help from them. But 
one thing I started to do was see how if I go into global settings on the Deke's uh, roof, well, let's just let's just draw one and see what happens. Let's see if it'll explode. I was literally going to hand draw the trusses because I thought I would have to, because I can't draw a two by four bottom and top cord on a. I mean, you run into all these little bitty things that add up. Um, I'm just going to pretend like I'm just going to do it as if it didn't matter. And maybe it'll just automatically convert. Nathan Wilkerson, it, you know, I picked the wrong type of truss. Nathan Wilkerson, who made these extensions, I have met him. I've interviewed him on my channel. He's a really super nice guy, super smart guy. Uh, he probably thought of this. Roof truss. What we want to do is a mono, mono pitch, mono slope, that's what I call it. Is it going the right way? No, I need to go this way. It needs to pitch this way because this way is facing the sun north in Australia. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to go. Let's be retrained here. And why is it wanting to change direction on me? So, okay, so this is in, it's in metric. So top cord size would be, should be, uh, the thickness should be, okay, here's where the, here's where our predicament's going to come in. Our top cord size, top cord size, bottom cord size. Why is it not saying thickness? So that is correct then, because I was going to make it, yeah, 45 by 90. So he is basically, this looks like it's going to work, except I need to turn it around. I'm probably going to have to do it from the other end. Let's just say okay for now. I want to see how this reacts. Because uh, it's backwards and this is the pitch is way wrong. But what you can do is edit this and go. The pitch is, he still has it in inches. Let's update that and see what happens. Okay, so he's got this worked out to where this pitch probably converts to like the, the 14 degrees or, or whatever the 212 is. Okay, so I may have to buy, have to buy Nathan a beer <laughs> because this looks like it's gonna work out a lot better. But what I need to do is change this around, turn this around, start from this end, I think, because it wanted to switch on me. Let's try it from this end. And this is the nice thing about this is that it's so easy. You can just delete it. There we go. I think this one's going to work fine. You can just delete it and start over. I was actually kind of looking forward to drawing this by hand. Um, I was going to make myself a roof truss and make it a component and uh, because I hadn't done that in so long because I've been handicapped by Nathan's uh, extension. Let's see, okay. So it's going to look funny until I get it fixed. But, uh, so let's fix it. So first of all, it's going to be edit. Trust assembly. It will be that 212. I'm impressed that on the uh, on the pitch that you can still in install the pitch in inches 212 instead of having to enter an angle. Uh, if you think about it, it doesn't make any sense in metric. But anyway, uh, uh, I'm still impressed. <laughs> so let's see. We're going to Gable Trust. 
Anchoises. Let's see. No. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We do want anchoises, and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to turn off all the roofing, siding, and everything. What we want to do, though, is extend these overhangs, though, because... And here's where I'm going to need my little calculator. Ew, metric. I know. And that's, and I've got this handy... I'm going to put 24 inches in here. So see, what I do is I look here and I say, oh, 609. Uh, 24 inches is 609 millimeters. So I go back. And where's my overhang? Overhang... Okay, so I can just put 609 in all of these. Now, what I'm, yeah, that's good. And then I'll update that because it's ugly without a, a decent overhang. Now the, and the pitch looks better already. And let's see, what I'm looking for, the the gable at the end. Gable overhang. Here we go. 609. That'll extend the ends. Is that extended on both sides? Now one thing I need to ask her about her... Uh, is that extended? Yeah, one thing I need to ask her... And this is why I really want to use the extension is because that I need to go look and see what the optimal roof pitch is going to be. What we want is, I think we're just going to say okay and close this out because what I'm going to do is go turn off. I may have to manually put... Uh, Let's put our layers, our tags in our our roof folder. That's one nice thing about uh, SketchUp 2021 is let's put these found put these is you have these folders that you can organize all your containers, container outline, footing brackets goes in foundation. I keep interrupting myself. Uh, footings you think you can uh, multitask until you start trying to do it post basis anyway I want to turn off the roof cladding and the roof sheeting because we won't have any of that and this is what I'm trying to get to is we won't have any I need to turn off the roof framing yeah and the roof soffit for now there we go. And I need to turn off the wall cladding and the wall sheeting. Now this, you know, it's kind of it takes you a while to get used to all these layers, these tags that this this extension creates, but once you get used to it, it's not a big deal. And also having these folders helps because now if I just want to turn off the whole roof. I can just turn off that one folder and I don't have to go click in a bunch of uh, you know tags individually. Let's see if we have any questions. Hello Vanessa Kitty, standard gable overhang for metric is 600. Oh well how do you know Daniel? <laughs> they're going to hate it if you use all conversion numbers. What do you mean they're going to hate it? They're, they they live in Australia. They they use they use the metric system. They're gonna love it. What they would hate is if I sent them a drawing in feet and inches. But I've already I've already met with Sonia. She's a really nice lady, and uh, we had an online meeting last night. And uh, that's the only bad part about this is that I have to meet late in the evening so that she can meet early in the morning. But Sonia, I'm not complaining at all. I think you're really nice and it's really cool. One of the neatest things about this job is I get to meet people all over the world and hear things like the standard overhang is 600. Oh look, I put 509. So we're going to trust Daniel because I like even numbers. I don't like weird dimensions. 
just to keep things busy, I mean, busy, keep them si simple. That's a secret I've learned in 40 years in construction. Where did you get the number uh, 600? Let's go see how many, how many inches. Oops, wrong button. So if I go to 600, this is what I like about this calculator. I can go in reverse. That's, ooh, that's 23.622 inches. That's weird. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, now what I'm going to do, and this is going to be the fun part, uh, so I have to thank Nathan Wilkerson because he just saved me a lot of work. Uh, I think, but, but what I was going to do, let's, let's see what these are. They should be, they should be 45 millimeters wide. 40 millimeters. Hmm. I thought it would be 45. Let's see. No, 40 is right. Okay, let's look at my chart. Hmm. Right here it says, right here it says seasoned softwood 35, 45, and 90, and down here it says unseasoned. We don't want to use that lumber. This is the typical. So I was using 45 by 90. See right here, that little black dot means commonly available sizes. So we'll have to You have to remember you're not designing it in inches for them. They want, well, so do I, Daniel. That was what I said. I want round, easy numbers. What's the deal with uh, that, my little graph, my little download telling me that 45 is more common? Let's go back. See here. Can you read that? I don't know. It's kind of blurry because I had to import it into Excel or open office as a JPEG. This says 45, which is cl as close as you can get to inch and a half in our, our numbers. Uh, the thing about it is, when I was talking to her, she said that the lumber was relatively close in size. It's just kind of the way that they designate it. So that's really the key is for me to designate it properly. Uh, What do you say about that, Daniel? Is 40 or 45 more common? Because if we go back to uh, this, Nathan's got his trusses at 40, which I'm gonna, obviously gonna, I'm not gonna mess around with that. I like, I like Nathan, he's a good guy. He's smart, much smarter than me. All right, so now what we have to do is we're going to put Perlin's on here and for now I'm just going to draw them as one long purlin. I'm not going to uh, try to get fancy and okay okay why is it not going to let me why is it uh... You won't let me draw a rectangle at that angle. So all I'm going to do is just draw one. All right, so 40. No, it was not. See, this is what happens. This is why I made this little chart. It's 90. Because, uh, yeah, 90. And this is 40. I don't know why Daniel's giving me a hard time. I'm, I'm drawing this in metric. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Daniel. Let's go out there. Well, I forgot how long 40 feet was. and It's like 20,000 millimeters.
thankfully once I get this drawn I'll just be able to copy it let's see what was it 600 okay so yeah no that's right 600 because we wouldn't hold it back yeah so that's that end it look kind of long it's like 72 feet oh excuse me whatever that is in metric 600 there we go now we're going to make this a component because I'm smart and if I want to change it later let's see what Daniel's, Daniel's talking I'm not sure in Australia well now you tell me <laughs> I mean I just want this I want it to be as I hate drawing things that are not accurate it's, uh, let's see is this let's select this I want to make this the same I like Nathan's coloring oh shoot there we go now what I have to do is I'm going to copy this up um, oops I'm not going to copy the what was our 24 oh 600 there you go so I'm going to copy this I don't know what I'm going to do is well I'm going to do it this way I'm going to if I can't get a control over my scrolling sorry it's not really me it's my mouse wheel blame it on something else so what we're going to do is put this up here and I'm going to figure out oops what? okay so this is this is something that's annoying me about the new SketchUp update once you copy something it'll stay in that copy mode until you take it out of the copy mode So let's get, uh, I'm going to have to do, I want these to be spaced evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these up 600 at a time. Times, let's see, 20 times 13. Did I do times? And we'll see. Oh, it was one short. I have was pretty good at guessing though, wasn't it? In metric. Yeah. See, I'm getting good. Metric. For Tennessee boy. Pretty good. Now, so this is what I was trying to find out. I want to do these evenly. I don't want to have this weird space. So what I'm going to do, because this is metal roofing and it doesn't matter. Well, it matters, but this is going to be close enough together. What I want to do is space this out. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 times. And get them even. <clears throat> I could probably get by with 13 times. Let's try that. So what I have found is a neat trick. Is In SketchUp also, you can select your thing and copy it up here I'm gonna put it in this position right now but I'll delete it later that and immediately after you place it do divided by 13 if you look in the little bottom right hand corner you'll see where I put the numbers in and what that'll do is it will copy 13 or 12 of them 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, the 13th was the last one. And it'll space them evenly for you. That way I don't have to figure it out. Now let's see what it would... Because on this case, you just want them nice and even. You know, since since we've met the minimum or the, yeah, the maximum span or minimum, however you want to look at it. Um, so that's 6... 80 so as long as we've stayed within three feet yeah see oh wait that's 580 why do I keep hitting the yeah see that's only 26 inches that's perfect 
That's beautiful. So we'll keep those. Let's see if anybody else has given us input. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh man, I lost everybody. Oh well. Now I can work. <laughs> Just kidding. So I'm going to delete that one. And there's our parlance. Awesome. Awesomeness. Now I'm going to draw myself. Actually, I'm going to copy one of these. Or am I? No, I'm going to draw it. Yeah, I want to draw it because I want to do it like this. I'm going to draw. Uh, do I need to do this? Yeah, I want to do it because I want to. I want to be able to turn the roof framing layer off. And let's see. I want to. Offset my is that straight down? Yeah, I want to offset offset myself a line on that. That's uh, ninety. These are ninety, right? Yeah, and. But I don't want this to be, yeah, I want that to be a, a square. Why does that not look square to me? I guess it's square. I'm sure it's just an optical illusion. Yep, that's what it was. So now we can go back in. Uh, 40. I don't know. I might get used to this metric stuff. This one. I need to check this to make sure this is a 90 degree. Too, because I don't trust myself on this one. It is. It's weird, isn't it? You just have to trust yourself, Luke. Alright, we're going to make that a group. And... There we go. So that's our bar drafter. And we'll make another one. I think the the uh, okay. Am I losing my memory here? Oh, my computer hung up there for a second. I think the challenge is going to be. I see there. I'm not used to the to the copy mode staying in effect and I just copied it over instead of moving it. Um have to get used to that. I think the challenge is gonna be she wants these uh clear plastic roof panels over this part. And I'm not sure how I'll have to well I can just get a corrugated metal panel and I'm going to brace this roof off I'm going to I'm just going to do that a little bit later I'm, that's a really boring thing but what you'll have is a brace coming diagonally excuse me diagonally on the inside of this cord down at an angle on each end okay and then you'll have purlins probably two of them down along the top of this bottom cord Right here on like a strong back on the side on the side of that that cord and probably another one on the back of these because she said that this there was a high wind area 
and we want to brace this roof off really well and if the live stream doesn't get too long I will draw that I'm not sure it's going to matter because nobody is watching and that's fine so let's find ourselves but are we still live streaming yes we are <clears throat> so let's go to find ourselves a corrugated how do you spell that metal roof you would think Cora, oh, I left out the U. I can't see for one thing. Everything is so tiny on these new computers. Here we go. I'm going to change this. This actually should be kind of fun because I'm going to change this. Um, one of these will be changed to. Some of them will be changed to clear plastic. The first one I have to do is get this kind of lined up. I'm going to turn this around. Now, I should mention that if you just want a if you just want a standard roof cladding, you know, and you don't mind it, you know, being an image, this is an image. This, is, this isn't this is going to show up on your drawings when you go to print it in black and white, right? If I change this um, style to what I print with, because we don't print in color, it's just too much ink. And that's just not how we do things in construction. Let's see. Those are those are considered rendering type drawings. And uh, when we print drawings, we change to this. You see. So now I've got all everything that's ge geometry, or actual lines. That see the roof went away because that's an image of a roof. It's not. I I just work in this atmosphere because it doesn't blind me. You get snow blind working in that other atmosphere. But anyway, if you want if you're using his extension and you just want to be able to visualize and why it's looking all solid like that, I don't know. Um, I can't one thing about my computer is I can't seem to get the graphics driver to update. It's very frustrating. Let's see. So let's go back to roof and we'll turn off the roof cladding. So we'll go back, and that's why I'm doing this, putting it on manually, because these will give me the geometry I want when I print drawings. And what I may have to do, I'm just realizing this may be, I'm going to test something right quick. I'm going to go get, let's go this up here. Right, where's glass? Here we go. Translucent glass. Let's see, I gotta select it first on. Oh boy. Let's see, that's the wrong So you should be able to see through that. What is wrong with my... Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, now I can see through it. Uh, yeah, it was, for some reason, the opacity was turned on. So, I wonder if I can edit this. Uh, 
so that I don't have to change it all. I should be able to change this. And then change the color of it. Yeah, see, I'll still be able to do that. Let's do that. So what we'll do is we'll change it back to select. Wait, I want to select this and put that back. I do it. Why it does that, I don't know. Where I have to. I want. What is going on with my. Where's the little eyedropper? Oh. I'm going nuts. Going nuts. Going nuts. I want to select. This and put it there. Why is it not changing? I guess it is. I just got to do the back of it to you. What I should do is just okay. There we go. I didn't think it was changing. Okay. We're gonna now we're gonna put this right here over here. And change it. select the right thing. We don't want to rotate our roof. We want to rotate the roof panel. And this is the only bad part about having two-sided really skinny surfaces. You want to make sure you get the, the right point. that and let's see have a stroke like me and it gets smaller <laughs> I wonder how wide uh, aren't these metal panels I mean, these uh, plastic panels are the same width. What is uh, what is 36 inches? Uh, well, they're actually 39. What is 39 inches? 990. Let's go see how wide this is. Pretty sure some of the panels I have bought are 39 and they cover 36 inches. They make the panel a little bit wider so that it covers three feet, 660. What did I say? Six sixty. Oh, that's a, that's one of these narrow. Oh, that's right. Some of these are 24 inches. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and use this because really, I mean, ultimately it doesn't matter. Uh, there's no way I can show roofing exactly you know the right links what you you just have to uh, on that kind of thing you just have to build it and then measure that's what we do on our projects we just we use this for estimating obviously but we don't 
we're gonna order roofing uh, by a drawing. You know, we build the roof and then we measure the we measure it because we're kind of at the mercy of of the roofing the truss manufacturer. So now what I'm gonna do is move this over because she only wanted let's see. Uh, let's see, wait a minute. She only wanted this actually this lower part. I almost forgot. She only wanted this lower galley or whatever we're calling this. This is actually where the plants are gonna hang or be present in there. So what we'll have actually is let's go back. We'll undo that because we'll just say that the we'll just bring these up to this this one and then the uh, let's download that other sheet let's see you know what though this is gonna that's gonna mess up my uh, I actually edited that uh, what will that do will that create a new what happens if you import I never thought about that you import something with the same name the same description oh district what happens to my does it create another it must create another surface and the bizarre thing is is that it brought it in at the right slope this time that's bizarre that's weird that's a gift because I had to rotate it last time so this will go on top of this one uh, I thought something looked weird get up here I can't see And it'll lap over. Let's see. What we may have to do is. Oh, I was really zoomed in, wasn't I? This will probably. I want to stop these here. And we'll just lap them down a little bit because you don't want the screws too close to the end. And then. But I want more of a lap. So I'll actually run these up to the next one. Up to this one. Like that. And that'll give you an over a good overlap. Now she she can decide exactly how she wants to do that, but you want to at least lap them, you know, one pearl in width. Like that. And then I can then these can go all the rest rest of the way up I need to make sure these are components too because that way um, and for now I'm just going to let these hang over a little bit like that and I'll figure out what kind of fascia and stuff she's going to have because I may change these Is that a component? Yeah, that's a component. Edit component, yeah. Edit component, yeah. Because I want to make sure, because what I'm going to do is make a group <coughs> out of the, let's see, do I want to do that? Wait a minute, are these? You see, can you see through that? No, okay, good. I'm gonna raise them up a little bit. One of the one of the problems I still complain about a little bit with SketchUp is that you can see material. I, don't, I expect to see this through, right? Because it's supposed to be clear, but 
I shouldn't ex expect to see the purlins through that sheet, but you can see it depends on what angle you're looking at. Now, what I've done, I've kind of played a trick on it. I raised it up high enough, like another half inch. We'll just raise it. What's a half? Let's see. Uh, 12 millimeters. <laughs> like that. And then if you... Um, you see, then you can you don't see them as easily. But what I'm going to do is try to copy these. Let's see, I'm going to have to have... I was just going to say 40, I, th I was going to say 36, because it's 72 feet long, but it's still got the overhang. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I can, if I can zoom in without scrolling so crazy, I'm going to copy it. I'm just going to copy it right here. It should be, oh, I know what to do. I'll copy it on this. That's a good reference point. And I want these to lap, yeah, just like that. Times 40. Yeah, okay. So that, that worked. And how many extra did I get? A bunch, but it's okay. It's a lot easier to delete them than it is for me to go back and have to uh, add them again. I'll say, okay, so this is these are the ones. This one will get you created unique, make it unique, and make this one unique. And then I can cut them off. See if we have any more questions or comments. Nope. No. So we're gonna have um, we're gonna have metal, you know, edge trim. So really, all I gotta do is find the closest. Really kind of just let's see, am I in the edit mode? Yeah, just kind of grab these and cut them off until to there. Yeah, that actually wasn't too hard at all, <laughs> except for I kind of shy away from making things double, you know, layer thickness like this just because of this right here. Um, you're having to deal with two two surfaces. Still editing that. Yeah, that's weird. It doesn't look like it, does it? Try not to delete the wrong thing here. There we go. Now I can delete this one. Fix this one. I'm going to be interested to see how the shading works on this and how uh, where am I? How the Paul the clear, you know how well the clear lets in the light to demonstrate uh, Come on now. Whoever made these roof panels should have made that 
a polyline or something. Should have all those little segments. It's kind of funny. At least they made it, Tony. You didn't have to draw it. That's true. I should shouldn't lift a gift. Shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Should I? Let me get my eraser. Dang it. Here, I'm just gonna erase your butt. There. It's hard to do things efficiently sometimes. So that's that. Now, for the fun of it, let's turn on. And why is that? That's weird. Why is that doing that? Hmm. Let's turn on our shadowing. Let's turn on the sun here and let's turn off the view, turn off the axis styles. Where's my, oh, I see what's wrong here. I like this, I like seeing the pretty blue sky. So let's turn on the sun. Take it a second because the old computer, I think, is why is it? Hmm, why are these panels not sh casting a shadow? I think something is something's freaking out on my computer. Let me save this. For some reason, I don't know why it's showing that all dark like that. I may have to get some other, I may have to make my own roof panels because these are bogging down my drawing pretty badly. Well, plus the fact that I'm, I've got shadows turned on. What I was trying to do is demonstrate the, uh, let me get out here and just turn and then just be still for a second and see if it will adjust. See, it's adjusting. It's showing the shadows. What if I bring one of these panels down? If it will. Let's turn the sun off. I'll have to play around with this uh, a little bit later because it's really, I need to put another 16 gig of memory in my computer. I just want to make sure I didn't move that. Yeah, that's good. What I need to do is probably find another roof panel that uh, is not it's not double sided you know I could go in here if I wanted to I could go in and just delete that and I may do that later I may since this is a component I can you know go in here and just delete All these faces and the faces are what's doing that yep.
And if I change one of these, they should all they should all change. I don't know why. Oh, I know what. That's the overlap. So. Well, I'll mess with that later. But it's kind of bugging me that this, that the way the graphics is showing that all dark like that. When I'm trying to demonstrate how the clear panels would work. <laughs> so for now, I'm going to turn them off. And I made the mistake of not uh, putting them in a group. I don't know what I'm going to do though, I'm going to turn off It's hot, it's hot in this house I'm going to turn off the roof and since oh shoot that's where my my, my sins Catching up with me, I need to create a roof, a layer called uh, Perlins. With a P. And turn off roof trusses. So all this is, that's kind of boring stuff. So I'm just going to wait. So I'll probably end this here because what I'm going to do is get, see how when I, when I show it at a different angle, that's frustrating. I'm actually, it's actually making me kind of mad. I'm going to throw all that trouble and now it looks weird. So that's, anyway, these, the, the upper part of the roof will have, you know, solid corrugated panels and the lower proof part will have these uh, translucent plastic uh, and I'm going to figure out how to show that without it looking all weird and um, but that's that's where I need to be until I get with Sonia and see how how that looks and how she likes it and if that will work for her let me check to see if there's any hey Hey, Night Strike. He caught me on the tail end. I was trying to see you. Uh, I know you could figure this out, but you just won't do it. You're just not. You're not my friend. I'm just kidding. Uh, you see how the the graphics driver is showing that roof dark. As I, t that's annoying, and also um, because these are translucent panels, because this is. Uh, you know, this bottom part is a greenhouse. This whole area, this whole little galley, she's going to hang plants, you know, plant stuff. And we're going to have a wall uh, of glass here. Of the, you know, she's going to have glass and some of these panels. And uh, it's going to be cool. And, uh, oh, it's funny. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to look up uh, something I was going to putting her drawing for the fun of, fun of it. Oh, here's a little room. Here's, here's one. Here we go. 
Oh, that's one of those two-dimensional ones that follows you around. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go do some boring stuff. I'm going to figure out, I'm probably going to get a new roof panel and replace all this because I don't want it to look weird. You know what I might do, though? is see how it's going to look uh, on the style if where I'm going to print styles it's this hidden line oh that's funny it looks better so on the drawing you know you're printing in black and white you don't want to print color so but what I may do is come up with a I may come up with a metal roof that doesn't have all these different lines in it because those metal lines tend to start to, it's like a newspaper. After you back, you know, the, the smaller the scale of the drawing, the more those, that becomes solid. You know, so if I, it's like this, I'm back it all the way out. You know, it would just look like a solid roof on the drawings. It's not going to look nice and cool the way I want it to. Um, maybe if I had a huge drawing. So I need to figure out what kind of roof I can use, and this is probably running to a lot in CAD, is is how do we portray what we want to, you know, how do we portray it, uh, it get that message across to the contractor. And uh, that's the most important thing, that's the whole purpose of the construction drawings, is to get that message across to the contractor. So anyway, uh, the only reason I don't draw in this mode is because you, know, you can go snow blind looking at it like that all day. So I do it like this, but unfortunately, sometimes you don't get the actual side, the actual, you know, effect you're looking for. Thanks, Night Strikes. Thanks for dropping by. All right, so I'm going to meet with Sonya, and we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks a bunch, guys. Thanks for dropping by.